How to Teach Open Syllables As our readers move from reading mostly single-syllable words to longer words, they need to be armed with strategies to help them break apart these longer words into smaller chunks. Otherwise, they may just guess at or even skip over longer words while reading. Learning the six-syllable types can help our readers find common patterns they know in longer words. The six-syllable types include closed syllables, open syllables, silent E syllables, R-controlled syllables, vowel team syllables, and consonant plus LE syllables, sometimes called final stable syllables. Now, in the first video, we zeroed in on closed syllables. And if you missed that, I recommend you go back and watch it first. Now, after learners have a firm grasp of the closed syllables, it's time to move on to open syllables. Your learners read shorter open syllables every day. She, go, hi. Those are just three examples. While a closed syllable ends in one or more consonants, an open syllable ends in a vowel. And I like to tell kids that when the syllables open, the vowel gets to shout its name out the door. In other words, the vowel makes its long sound. But how do you teach kids to look for open syllables in longer words like these? Now, in my years of teaching struggling readers, I found it easiest to begin teaching open syllables by using words that have an open syllable in the first syllable and a closed second syllable like robot. Because learners already know how to read closed syllable words, it's a good place to start. Now, in the closed syllable video, we talked about introducing the ER, the ER chunk on the end of words. And you can use the er chunk with open syllables too, like in the word tiger. You can also teach words that have two open syllables, like in the word lazy. Now in this word, the Y makes its open long E sound. Let's walk through the steps of teaching learners how to identify and read open syllable words with the word robot. Now, just like with closed syllable words, you want your, to help your learners find the vowels first. Teach them to label them or circle them or highlight them in red. I'm going to use V for vowel. Then, just like we did with closed syllables, look in between the vowels. How many consonants do they see? And unlike the closed syllables we just talked about in, in video one, there's only one here. You may ask your learners to lightly label it C for consonant or underline them. And when you see the V, C, V pattern, the middle consonant usually goes with the second syllable. Once the longer word is divided, encourage your readers to look at each syllable and what do they see on the end of the first syllable? And as you can see, it's an O, but it's not closed in by a consonant. It's going to make its long sound, RO. Now, take a look at the second syllable. Hmm, it has a single vowel, but it's closed in by a consonant. That means it's a closed syllable and the vowel will be short, BOT. If you put them together, RO, BOT, and you get ROBOT. Now, once learners grasp the idea of finding the open first syllable and the closed second syllable, you can use that familiar ER pattern on the end of words in your second syllable, like in this word. You again, we're going to ask them to first find the vowels. They can highlight them, they can circle them, they can label them I'm using V again. Next, you want to ask them to look in between the vowels for the consonants. And again, we have one consonant. They could label it or underline it. And we have a VCV pattern. And then when we see this pattern, the middle consonant, that G, is go usually going to go with the second syllable. Now that we have it divided, look at each syllable. What do you see on the end of the first syllable? It's an I, but it's not closed in by a consonant. So it's going to make it's going to be an open syllable. The I is going to say its name out the door. 
And when they take a look at the second syllable, they should locate that ER chunk and it should help them read ger. So now we have tie ger tiger. After your learners can identify and read words like robot and tiger, try words with two open syllables like lazy. Open syllables with a Y on the end are a little trickier because the final Y is going to act like a vowel. So when your learners first find the vowels, they need to know that Y is a vowel in this word. It's not a consonant. Once the vowels have been found, again, look in between the vowels. There's only one consonant. And once again, we have a VCV pattern, and the middle consonant usually goes with the second syllable. Now that we have it divided, take a look at the first syllable. The A can shout its name out the door. It doesn't have a consonant blocking it. In the second syllable, the Y gets to make its long E, the long E sound. So we've got lay Z, lazy. Now, why do I keep using the word usually when I say the consonant usually goes with the second syllable? Well, because sometimes the consonant goes with the first syllable to close it in, like in the word wagon. And that will be the topic of our next video, so stay tuned. For now, it's just good to remember these things when teaching open syllables. Words with open syllables often have VCV in the middle of the word, and the consonant usually goes with the second syllable. Vowels and open syllables make their long sound. So we have A, E, I, O, U. They're free to shout their name out the door. I'm sharing some free open syllable printables on my blog that you can use to help your, your readers divide and read real and silly words. I also have a six syllable type interactive pack in my shop. The links to all these resources are in the description below. Thanks for joining me at This Reading Mama, where you'll find hands-on learning for home or school.